Hi Leo, welcome to your general monthly reading for October 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this could resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Leo. A couple more. for October 2020. Justice, that could be Libra. The Hermit, I don't like the glare on that. Um, Virgo. Six of Swords. The Empress, could be Taurus, Libra, or Aries. The, war the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Two of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. All right. Put you over here. Okay. Another guys. Okay. One, two. Okay. Three major arcana. Four major arcana out of seven. Okay. So this is pretty. This month is going to be uh, pretty significant. Some things going on behind the scenes that are going to affect your your uh, daily routines or just maybe a paradigm shift. What's this hermit about? No. That's better. What's this hermit about for Leo? This. <laughs> you always show up. <laughs> There's Leo. All right. This Six of Swords about for Leo. I think you're worrying too much. I think you're... It feels like you, you're you trying to... like you. Not that you're trying to. It feels like you might have um, filled a void <laughs> with trying to keep yourself busy or trying to, okay, let's, let's do the next thing. Let's do this. Let's do that. And that's not a bad thing. Just know that if you're feeling kind of exasperated um, or exhausted, you can let go of what you've kind of taken on because it, it, this, it feels like um, the minute something gets settled or resolved, you're like, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? And you, you don't have to um, do that. Perhaps it might be that there needs to be some introspection about um, what's going on instead of trying to manage everything outwardly and taking that on. A lot of times that happens. Like people will take on things in an effort to sort of fix the inner landscape. They get really busy managing a lot of external things, even not their things. So the, it might be that this bears shining that light on the inside um, just to illuminate what's going on. Because um, we've got Six of Swords and we've got the Six of Pentacles. Okay. All right. What's this Empress about for the... Okay. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you got to let somebody help you. This is... It's almost like you want to do all the things. <laughs> um, and it could be because you might be avoiding dealing with with um, some uncomfortable feelings or just some, you know, having to let go of something. It could be that there's needing to um, look at something realistically and uh, figure out what to keep and what to kind of set aside. And yet that might be kind of difficult. So you take on a lot in an effort to resolve, like I said before, things going on internally. That's when you get really busy externally. And you might be starting to wear yourself out a little bit. Um, and I think it's just a matter of looking at it and seeing what you can set aside and what you can keep. It, because right now it's just everything's on your plate and it doesn't need to be. It just, it, oh, I hate it when it gets that glare on there. Oh, do I have to? Okay, all right. Would you like this a little bit? Maybe, uh, well, mm -hmm. all right. So yes, just maybe maybe let some somebody help you here. 
of Share the Load. All right. What else for a wheel? Leo. Look at this. Six, six, six. <laughs> six of Wands, victory. Okay. This says uh, success. This says works. So this is kind of, this is, it's almost like, okay, you did good. Now what's next? Okay. So it's almost like spinning your wheels here. And then a shift happens, which is great. But don't let it be a missed opportunity because you're still trying to make something work back here. Or you're trying to make it all work. It's okay to set some things aside um, because you've got like change is coming it's coming for everybody good lord but um it could be that you're trying to drag a few things with you into this new cycle that might not be of benefit to you and yours or to all concerned i think you're wanting to make something work and and you need to look at what you could lessen what you could lighten the load with setting aside or setting down or just kind of changing the way you do it um and it has to do with you not wanting anybody else to help you or not letting anybody else help you and the thing is consider that perhaps the reason why you don't want them to help you is because you know that they will let you down or they will fall short and so you'd rather just do it all yourself. Um, if, if you really just maybe looked at it, um, it would be that it, it might not work. And that might be um, hard to accept. And so it's like, well, just don't worry about it. I'll do it. Instead of having to look at, okay, you know what? I might not be able to work this these many shifts or I might not be able to count on this person or I might um I might need to say no to this person I might need to say no to the job or it's it's it, in an effort to get some balance here um yeah all right what's this two of wands about for Leo? the thing is is that it, it this is you've got victory success winning coming in you've got a new cycle coming in be careful what you carry through into it just just be just take a look at that what okay all right what's this two of wands for leo what's this two of wands and i say that and i'm careful the way i say it because um i don't i know i repeat myself i feel like you are one of the people that would rise up to any challenge because of your nobility, because of your being honorable, because of your generosity. It doesn't mean that you should. Just because you could doesn't mean that you should. Just saying. Okay. Five of Wands. So two of Wands, five of Wands. Yes. Okay. Some uncomfortable truths, making perhaps some uncomfortable decisions, um, figuring out what's what. That's It's going to be uncomfortable. That's okay. That's okay. It's it's all for growth here. It's all for you being propelled forward. Um, what's this? Ace of Wands. What's this? Ace of Wands. Leo. Queen of Pentacles. All right. All right. So it could very well be that you, this is a simple fact of you needing to set some boundaries. Um, and that also has to work for you as well. <laughs> Meaning you can't set the boundaries and then breach them. You've got to stick to your guns on something. And I'm not talking about letting somebody come in or it's, it's to where you decide something. And then once you see it might not work out the way you wanted it to, if you backed off, then you go, I want to go Da, 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 da. This is, it, it's like good things are coming and going to happen if you let them, but there might be some uncomfortable truths you have to look at. Um, there might be some feeling kind of 
uh, in conflict with yourself. There might be some, it, it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's necessary because you can't keep doing what you've been doing. You've got to set down the load. You've got to partition things out. Um, you've got to set aside what is simply too much for you. This could be work. There's a lot of wands and pentacles here. Um, the things are going to be busy, but consider how much you're taking on that maybe you don't need to. And that's, it, it might be a blind spot, so that's not easy, right? Um, particularly in the, the area of caring for others and, and helping others and showing up for others and, and lending yourself out or resources out to others. Uh, it's, I think that's more comfortable for you than perhaps realizing that, okay, if I don't do that, then where does that leave me and this person? Or where does that leave me in work? Or where does that leave me in this? It changes the dynamic and maybe you don't want it to change because if you take a look at how much you're giving out and not getting back, it's, it's kind of eye opening for you. <laughs> um, so you need to fold in some self care here. Uh, it's very, nothing wrong with being busy. Just, you might be doing it to avoid, um, having to accept that others might fall short and let you down. And then you, now that you know, you have to make some decisions about that, that you might not want to accept. And it doesn't mean that you thwart anything or you throw it to the side. Um, it simply means that you take a look at where it could still fit if you didn't do that. Um, some of you might want to chuck some things. Okay. But it doesn't mean that you have to. It just means that you need to be honest about what is working and what isn't and how much you're caring for other people. Um, coming into a great cycle, but it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable confronting those truths about how much you do for others and how much you don't get back. Um, but this is, it looks like once you kind of have that awareness about what to back off on, and kind of maybe restructuring the relationship or your work schedule or whatever it is. Um, it looks like it brings about the desired result here. That I mean, we've got Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This could be Capricorn. Um, so <laughs> no beating yourself up. It's It just means needing to shift some things around, make some decisions, change this, let some things go, um, make room for the new here. And we got six of pentacles, queen of pentacles, empress, three of pentacles. So we, there's opportunity. There's uh, being comfortable, being secure here. And you just got to get excited about it. <laughs> you just got to lessen the load a little bit to make room for it to get excited. You always have that optimism. That's not a problem. But um, you're just you're doing all the things and you, and you need some balance here. You need to let other people show up. And if they can't, then you adjust accordingly. All right. Oopsie. That was for Leo for October. Knight of Michael, Knight of Swords. It says, strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. Okay. So, uh, Knight of Swords. I read that as Aquarius. So, um, just saying, this this calls for kind of uh, some decision-making and some movement, some leadership, some uh, for leadership for self, not for others, for you. You pull that back and you do it for you here because you're giving too much of yourself away. So this is needing to, um, you know, use logic over maybe some feeling guilty or feeling obligated. It's like, nope, pull that back. That's not useful. So what makes sense here, if you're feeling too um, given away, if you're feeling like you're too spread out, this is about deciding how and what you can pull some of that back and looking at why you do that. Not condemning, not judging, just being discerning. Like, okay, I tend to do that when I get uncomfortable. Or maybe I should go for a walk instead or just, you know what I mean? So you can choose differently. Once you understand why you're doing it, maybe you can choose a different outlet. 
You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Oh. What else for Leo? Because, you, you know, get excited. Just got to make room for it. That's all. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Resilience. Rise above tribulations. All right. I'll take it. You see that? Yeah, you can see that. All right. Maybe if I did like that a little bit. That doesn't help. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, you can... And this is not to imply, imply otherwise, but you you can handle the truth here. This is you can handle taking a good hard look at what you kind of been avoiding. You can do it. Uh, you just might not want to slow down to do it, but you need to. You need some balance. You need some self care. You need to let a few things go, um, and and figure what you can do with more of and what you could do with less of here. This, the thing too about this right here, it kind of sounds like um, you need to take, you, it's, it's about boundaries. It's about you because the, the external stuff isn't going to let up. Part of that is because you volunteer for it. So you need to set some boundaries here so you can recuperate, so you can be resilient, so you can, because you, you don't need to be taking on as much as you are. It feels like, honestly, this feels like work and relationship. It, it feels like it's coming at you from all sides and it doesn't need to. It's it, boundaries, boundaries, because you've got some good coming in and you need to make room for that and you need to not be already beholden to everything else to where you can't get your good or to where it's delayed because you feel beholden and guilty. All right, so we got five of cups on its side and we've got the eight of swords on its side. So I think this is you. Hmm. I think you're coming out of feeling disappointed and sad. Um, and it speaks to starting to make those rational decisions, starting to look at things logically, um, releasing sentimental attachment and looking at what is forgiving yourself, releasing judgment, all of that. So you're coming out of it. So you, there's that resilience, right? You're coming out of, um, I think you're going through the motions here, but you're internally, that must be what this is. Internally, you're coming out of it. You're just still going through the emotions externally. So no one knows that what, what's going on with you. Um, and it, again, it could be because it's uncomfortable to have to set those boundaries and choose yourself. You can think about it all you want and, and get kind of feisty, but it's probably uncomfortable to not be able to be the one that's generous or um, able to help or fix it all because you're good at it. But it's, it's, you need to not do that for everybody. You need to focus on Leo and not give all of you away. All right. Okay. So for October for Leo, you're fine. But you have been, I'm sitting here going, you need to look at, you have been looking at it. Um, it, it feels like you're kind of, you're really busy and having to take care of everybody else but yourself. Part of that is because you're volunteering for it and you feel guilty. And if you won't, who will? Well, they're going to have to figure it out because Leo needs a break. Leo's busy. Leo's got good coming and it's, it's going to happen quickly. It's going to be incoming quickly. Um, this very well could be the start of a new job. Um, this could be quitting and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to quit. It's too wonky here. I can't, you don't accept my nose. I need to be able to say no and have some time off. And all of a sudden you, you're like, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I've always wanted to do now or, you know, nothing like the present to start that side hustle or job or new place of employment like I wanted to. So, making some decisions, putting up some boundaries, getting your good. I don't like that glare. I've tried that, the paper in it. Okay, right. I have to try a different paper, I guess. Thank you for stopping by, Leo. I hope this was helpful. I hope you get some rest. Nothing wrong with staying busy. Just, um, you, you, you deserve better. You deserve better.
and it, if this is a new job, I keep going, I'm sorry. Uh, it, this could be literally walking away from a job that might pay a lot of money, but it's not, it's not fulfilling. And you're like, you know what? I can make the same amount of money doing the same job going into business for myself. So this very well could be the green light to back off from that and start a new, or at least place the importance on it differently. Like, okay, I'm going to do this for another six months because um, it's going to take that long for me to get the same, what I want to do off the ground, but it's not going to be as important to me as I've been making it because I'm not getting back what I put into it. Okay. All right. Okay, Leo. Much love to you. Happy October. I hope to see you in the next reading. All right. You take care.